matter of water. Can you hold your nerve? This is Innuendo Bingo. Let us know if you are watching today. A bit of Thursday wetness is happening on the Radio 1 website right now. You can watch on your phone as well. Just go to Radio 1 on your phone. <laughs> You're warming up over there. Yeah. I heard Indiana's Innuendo Bingo was very <laughs> wet. Is it the other day? <laughs> She's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> she just laughs at everything. Right. <laughs> okay, so, water please, loads of it. Mm-hmm. Don't hold back, Hugh. Mm-hmm. First, we're going to Radio 4 on Innuendo Bingo and their daily drama, Home Front. Now, undeniably, times were tough, uh, but I, I do like the sign, sound of the character um, and then the treat that they have planned here. I'm like you. I don't like those places, in case I end up with a dose of the pox. Oh. You look disappointed. What did you think I was going to say? I don't know. Tell you what, for a treat I'm going to take you in the back door and then you can glimpse the servants in their natural habitat. Oh, good oh. <laughs> <laughs> Offering you the chance there to look at how, how servants live. <laughs> and what a treat. Oh. For a treat I'm going to take you in the back door and then you can glimpse the servants in their natural habitat. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Gary, for spotting that one in Derbyshire. <laughs> Next to ITV and one of my favourite clips from Tuesday's Innuendo Bingo with Indiana. I don't know how he's blagged it, but Alan Titchmarsh has secured incredible access to the Queen. Delightful as the company is and delicious though the finger sandwiches and French fancies are, I've come here to see something, dare I say it, even more exciting. With special permission from Her Majesty, I'm here to explore her entire garden. Straight on his head. Oh, down the neck. <laughs> <laughs> I do suppose that Alan is a is a gardener, so it makes sense for the Queen to let him look around. With special permission from Her Majesty, I'm here to explore her entire garden. <laughs> <laughs> right over there? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and now another one from Bingo Regular Flog It. Paul Martin is an excellent host, but I do wonder if he maybe sometimes shares a bit too much information. You got your waters in there? Mm-hmm. Let's make it a wet one. If you make the effort, it really does mm-hmm. look great, doesn't it? It's just... Mm-hmm. It makes the room. <laughs> and I'm so pleased. Yeah. I love it. It's nice to touch. It's very tactile. Mm-hmm. I love my mm-hmm. wood. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hugh. You're dripping. Really well. You're dripping. All over my hair. Keep I love my on. wood. That's uh, Paul there talking about his mahogany right. wardrobe, is that oh, one? Thanks. I love my mm-hmm. wood. <laughs> Robin Devon, thank you for sending that one in. <laughs> OK, now we're going over to the one show. And presenter Mike Dilger sharing his idea of heaven. Well, he certainly really seems to be enjoying it. Got your waters there? Mm-hmm. I love my mm-hmm. wood. No, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hang on. What's going on? Oh, yeah, here we are. Here we go. Over to you, Mike. Come on, come on. There he goes, there's the blow! There's the blow! Blow again! Oh, fantastic! Oh, yes! Get in there, saw the fluke! Oh, that was glorious! <laughs> what are you doing, Mike? What's all about? He's watching Humpback Whales off the Irish coast. Ah, oh, right, okay. Right. There he goes, there's the blow! There's the blow! <laughs> Blow again! Oh, fantastic! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Loves it. OK, so, next we're going over to Clueless on BBC Radio Leicester. Mm. Now, the programme promises to challenge your local and general knowledge with Tony Wadsworth in the studio and Judy Mayer in the radio car. Now, I'm not... Uh, I'm not sure of the rules, but Julie definitely seems to be winning here. You ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> BBC Radio Leicester. Oh, I'm puffed out. 20 here. seconds. Shut up, Tony. Shut up. Oh. I'm, I'm seconds from the door. I'm going to have to have a lie down after this. 10 seconds. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What's that? It's Julie in the radio car. <laughs> It all happens on BBC Leicester, doesn't it? I wasn't it? ready for that. Mm. Water, please. <sighs> Is that meant to go out on air? I, I don't know. I think she's doing some kind of treasure hunt thing. Oh, no. 
I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Julie there in the radio car, completing a timed treasure hunt. Thank you, Chris, for sending that one in. Oh. Now we're going... Who's wet us up right now? Um, I don't know. Bit of a draw, I'd mm. say. BBC Four Extra now, and the sitcom, which is called Fags, Bags and Mags. No. Fags, Mags and Bags. <laughs> 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 That's the actual name of it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay, water, please. Mm -hmm. I need another. Mm. Now, I, I don't know what fags, mags, and bags is about, mm. but uh, I think I'm going to give it a listen once I can find where Radio Four Extra is. Oh! 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 I'm sorry. I'm not going to be part of this. <laughs> <laughs> so, Father Green, are you going to kiss my ring or not? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> oh. oh, that was the legs! That was the legs! I imagine you can find Radio 4 Extra on the BBC iPlayer radio app. Yes, you can. I've just looked. I'm going to listen. Wow. Oh. 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 oh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be part of this. <laughs> So, Father Green, are you going to kiss my ring or not? Father Green, of course, <laughs> welcoming the new bishop to Glasgow there. Oh. <sighs> what a welcome. That's what they do, I know. And now over to one of our favourites from the end of last year. As you take more water in your mouth, please, on In You and a Bingo, mm -hmm. we go to Eggheads. And I wonder if any of the contestants actually took advantage of Dermot Murnahan's limited time offer. Well, now, three rounds to the Eggheads. It means you're missing three brains from the final round. Planning to win. The Eggheads are all still there, so this is your last chance to knock one out. <laughs> oh, straight Sorry, in. that was a bad one. Straight <laughs> in. It was really bad. That was really bad. wet as the air. That was Sorry, really that, that bad. That was a bad one. Got, I tell you, I've only got one know, pair of trousers. I know, I that was straight in the face <laughs> there. To be Sorry, fair, man. though, you got him back as good. Yeah. That's the game, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Sorry, so this is your last chance to knock one out. Thank you, Dermot. <laughs> and now an all-time classic from Dinner Date. And Christine's got some real concerns while she's cooking. Water? Here we go. Christine is a little concerned. I'm a little bit worried about the runniness of my pie. <laughs> <laughs> You're right there, Hugh. Oh, yes. What's up? <laughs> no, disgusted. What's, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Oh, okay. I'm confused. Do you want to end it here? Oh, I, can, I can take some more. Okay. Maybe just, uh, maybe one more. One yeah. more? Oh, one more, I think. One for the road. Yeah. Okay. Is it from Radio 4 Extra? No. Ah. It's, uh, it's going to be... Do you want some Dale Winton? Mm. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Mm -hmm. Dale Winton. It's a classic. This one's always going to be on, I think, for as long as Inyo Bingo is. Dale presenting the National Lottery. So I'm going to go with head. You're fairly convinced the answer is head. Yes. Shall I accept head? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. Just for old time's sake, thank you, Dale. Oh, well done. And that was... Thursday's Innuendo Bingo. Remember to listen to Hugh tomorrow to find out who number one is on the BBC Music Sound of 2015. Intense.